Hello, this is GeoTechLan, and today I'll be using Manjaro, but this time instead of GNOME, the KDE version. And for those of you that don't know, KDE is another desktop environment. Um, and there's a lot of other ones in addition to GNOME. I've mostly stuck to GNOME in my videos, but KDE um, it picked my interest again because of its scaling. GNOME itself, especially new versions of GNOME, don't have, um, well they do have scaling from like 100% or 200 to 300, but they don't have what I would call, or what they would call, fractional scaling. And for laptops, it's definitely a big factor in terms of uh, the kind of experience you're gonna get here. And so normally on Manjaro Gnome's edition on the laptop, um, once you boot it up, you can tweak it so that the overall OS interface looks fine. But if you would use the browser, like Firefox for example, you would have to normally set the, the zoom to like 120% sometimes. And that was because YouTube, for example, looked tiny and really a lot of websites look tiny. With KDE, when you set the scaling to, let's say, 150%, you don't have to actually tweak this. Now, even for my taste, I may go back to like 130% or something because this seems a little bit too, too zoomed in, but that's the key thing here and and I guess this is also going to be a slight overview of KDE itself KDE at first I didn't like it too much because there was just a lot of it, it felt cluttered for me but ever since I've used it on my laptop for the past couple of days I've learned to to love it a lot more and appreciate it more you can really, you can tweak a lot of things here. For example, if you right click here, you can have alternative panels. And actually that's not working. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah, that's the other, the other thing with uh, KDE that it's, um, it's like a Swiss army knife because it can become so many, you can change the look of it so much, but a lot of little things will will mess up. At least that's been my experience. Maybe I'm too inexperienced with KDE, but that's why I wouldn't recommend KDE as a um, for a, for a new Linux or a new user to Linux. Because while yes, you can tweak things, you got to mess around with things, and it doesn't give a, a newbie a a good default experience. So let's see. I'm going to go to configure desktop. See if I can remember where to change the scaling. Oh yeah, I think it was just in the regular settings here. All right. So I went to display and scale display. So I have it set to 1.5. Although I can really I can probably put it to like 1.4 or 1.3. I think that may be a little bit better. But yes, you can do the scaling here. Once you hit OK, you, you can read here. Scaling changes will come into effect after the restart. So just keep that in mind. And but yeah, other than that, um, that was pretty much all I wanted to cover here. I mean, this is still Manjaro. You still get all the cool apps. Um, Oh, and uh, KD by default comes with um, its own package manager. And when I was watching people use KDE, they just installed the the PAMAC from Manjaro here. So I, I just installed that. And it gives it a very a more similar experience than what I'm using with Manjaro GNOME. But yeah, everything works pretty much except for little things with the OS. Right now I've gotten mine to look like GNOME in a way. But yeah, this is KDE. 
it can become anything you want. But if uh, that's if you're willing to tweak a few things. It's good if you're already comfortable using Linux and kind of want to explore something, I would recommend it. If you're a newbie, I would still set you with GNOME because it looks nicer off the bat and you don't have to really tweak uh, anything too much. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.